I was miserable, seconds away from giving up if I'm being honest. And then I saw her. She was one of those people that you can't help but to notice. Pretty, adorable actually, with a presence that fills the room. That is not to say she was loud or demanding. In fact, she was actually very quiet. She just attracted your attention. Short, maybe five foot two, with long black hair and pigtails, with an easy, beautiful smile and caring eyes. She appeared young, 20-something, and was dressed fashionably and cute. She carried a lounge fly mini backpack with some cartoon anime character on it. Even her name was cute, Bella. I was instantly drawn to her and she just as quickly acknowledged me, actually everyone in the lobby, with a timid hello. She sat down with her intake paperwork and was instantly approached by the younger men in the room, chatting her up. I could tell this was something she was used to and I almost dismissed her as a cool girl, a Disney kid. One of those with a sharp sense of fashion, but little else. Except that wasn't her at all. You could see it in her eyes, deeply soulful and aware. They hinted at a hard life. She gave everyone attention, navigating the glib conversations that washed over her. Yet I saw her seeing more. She noticed everything and everyone and seemed to pay particular attention to those in need, which at the time included me. She sought me out alone as I smoked one of my few remaining cigarettes and offered her hand, her name, and a promise that things were going to be okay. She saw my fear, saw I was in pain and on the verge of quitting and reached out, made it all better. As I mentioned, I was drawn to her, this little cute girl who could be so easily and incorrectly dismissed as vapid and shallow. She had a strength she readily lent and a deep understanding, hard gain through trauma and adversity of those around her. She was so much more than most people ever saw, and honestly, I'm not sure I would have made it without her. Most people saw the pretty face, the cool kid. It was easy to see just that, to miss the haunted look, the scars just below the surface. They would have been surprised to see her later in the throes of a violent detox, scared but determined. I'm glad I looked a little deeper and saw the strength, the hurt, the compassion, and the fear that made her, to me, the lost lamb. Thank you for listening to this excerpt from Windswept Gardens, a story about being institutionalized. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and share it. Also, check out the links for the Facebook page to get more information on the project. These excerpts from Windswept Gardens will be released every Sunday on YouTube. Thank you again, and see you next time.